Hello, what's up? It's your boy Pastor Herbs back at it again with another video. And today I'm going to be helping you guys understand what a flowchart is. The so first question is, what is a flowchart? A flowchart is a sequence of moves, a string of moves, or just a set amount of moves that you'll use over and over repeating yourself and your attack habit and your, excuse me, and your attack habits, which are embedded into your offense. And you just do it in most certain situations. So a big weakness in a game plan that has a flowchart is that your opponent can eventually see your bad habits and basically expose you and stop you from continuing the match. It'll stop you from leading the match and it'll make you feel like you've lost mid-match. So the very first step to do is find out what exactly your flowchart is because most people have one. So you do this by going to your replays, checking your replays, like I always say, and realize what you're doing in certain situations when you want to just like run up your opponent and you're not really thinking okay so once you check that out this will allow new better habits to form and once the better habits been formed you can do something better instead of something bad for example if you take a look at your usual flow chart so my usual flow chart with Josie I just press a lot of buttons then I'll do her stance and I'll do a raw rising four. I'll do this while rising four and right after I'll press down for it too. Now the real reason why that's bad, I don't want to confuse you guys who are looking at the frames and everything. I'm going to just switch back to my side. If you take a look at my frames, just one second to make this better for you guys. If you take a look at my frames, <clears throat> you can see that after I do the wall rising four from her stance, I'm only minus six. And me and Miguel have a pretty decent distance away from each other. So it's not a really big chance he's gonna be able to punish me at the distance. And because of the frames, he's not gonna be able to do much. But because I always press down for two, at the end of that string, I'm putting myself at a disadvantage. So you wanna be looking out for things in your, in your flow chart that are anything that's minus 10 or above. You don't wanna do those things anymore. Because if you take that one aspect of the game and just think about it, right? Miguel can punish me with his uh with his 3-4 and get a decent amount of damage and a knockdown. Let me see. Just so we have a better example. This comes out at 13 frames and I can't even see how much damage that does. It doesn't say. Yes, yeah, it's, it's not gonna tell me on the side, I forgot that, but the important thing to note is that he got a knockdown, so he got an advantage in the situation because he's at a positive state standing up and I'm at a pretty much disadvantaged state lying on the ground. And he was able to get out the damage off me. Every single time, oops. Every single time I do this move and a, my opponent blocks it, I'm running a big risk for no reason. It comes out at 15 frames and it's minus 13. So every single one of the cast has a 13 frame punish, no matter who they are. I'm a, I'm pretty sure everybody has a 13 frame punish. Pretty sure. Um, again, you don't want to do that to yourself. It's not worth it. It's just not worth it. So instead of me doing this every single time, look at that. I just I did it without even thinking. I could be pressing down forward four instead. Down forward four will make me plus 11, and it comes out a frame faster. It comes out at 14 frames versus the down forward two that comes out at 15 frames. This is a huge deal because this will actually help me continue my offense and make me steal my turn back. It hits mid, so if your opponent's trying to duck anything, it's most likely going to hit them. And they they kind of they have to either get hit by this or block this. You really you're not going to get away from a mid unless the person's backdashing is really 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 good and they just happen to get away. That's the only way they're going to get away from this mid. They can't duck it and then they're going to have the whole block or just hit it. Or just, or just eat it. So again, like I said, this helps me get still my turn back. And I can just do the same thing over and over. Keep my opponent frustrated. So you want to look out for those better things that you could do to fix your flow chart. To make it more, just make it better. <laughs> now again, you don't want to rely on flow charts. They're not the end all be all for it in terms of like offense. But if you can fix these little things 
they'll help you realize the mistakes you've been making will give you an overall just better presence at a better state of mind when you're actually having your head in the game attack so yeah another tip is to replace the string with another string entirely for example Josie's back one two the full string is back one two four four now the issue with this string right if i were to do this over and over my opponent eventually is going to catch on if i were to just try to do back two back one two four back one two four is minus ten so most of the cast is going to be able to get a jab punish off of that so that's around let's say around 20 damage that are getting off of me for no reason if i were to do back one two four four yeah four four the last four at the end of it is minus five but it's a duckable eye so my opponent can see what i'm doing see what i'm doing over and over in my flow chart stop me duck the high and then launch me just do a wild rising launch or do a hop kick to punish me that way so it's little things like that you want to look out for now that is a really big deal because you can't really go far on the strength of somebody's ignorance you can really you can do a whole lot more when you realize how smart your opponent is and how you can manipulate how intelligent they are instead of trying to rely on them being ignorant because a lot of people who play the game of Tekken they know a lot of the matchups so when you do moves like this you got to really think about how you can minimize mistakes so if you just do back one two i said all of that to say if you just do back one two and then do something else back one two is minus five so nobody can punish it yes it's not your turn anymore technically but when your opponent knows about the string they'll expect the four or the four four to come out at the end so what you do is just make it better again like i said do back one two down four four i'm still doing it <laughs> back back one two down four four steal your turn back go back into the stance and tighten up your flow chart now if this exercise uh, i just did it again if this exercise makes you feel uncomfortable it's actually a good thing because that means better habits are coming and better habits lead to better gameplay and better gameplay leads to a more fun and exciting way to play Tekken. It really does. These little things are all a part of becoming a better Tekken player. These flowcharts are bad habits. Most of these flowcharts are just basically bad habits. And a lot of people can't see the bad habits. And these little mistakes are going to get exposed and blow you up in the long run. But if you fix them now, they'll help you out in the long run. Because no one can abuse you for what you do anymore. <clears throat> yeah, so learning from our mistakes is what makes us better Tekken players at the end of the day. And uh, you just want to get better offense, make better habits, because you have to beat your opponent down to win. That's that's just that's just the nitty gritty of it. You want to make sure that you most of the things you're doing can't be punished. You want to always think about how can I save myself? How can I put myself in better situations? And that's about it for the video, guys. I hope you all enjoyed it. I really hope you understand a small or just a bigger concept of what a flow chart is and how you can really understand it and use it to your advantage that's all i got for today i want to thank you guys for watching the vid like comment subscribe and I'll see y'all next time peace